I've heard it said that you do not marry someone you can live with, but you marry the one that you cannot live without. I believe this is true of Clayton and Valentina today. Valentina, you are beautiful. You are a beautiful bride, and Clayton, you are a handsome groom. Together you make an incredibly beautiful couple. Clayton and Valentina, your wedding is a celebration of love. The love you have for each other flows from the heart of God. The greatest love story ever told is found in this passage, and this is love. Not that we loved God, but that He loved us and set His Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. The Bible teaches us that He knew us both before the beginning of the world, and He loved you. Marriage between a man and a woman has always been God's idea. I know you both are convinced that it was God who brought you together. And today, you stand before your loving Father, the eternal God, and make these vows to Him. Clayton, as you accept Valentina's love, I ask you to remember to show love and compassion and to care for her in the many small ways which touch a woman's heart. Clayton, before you can ever lead Valentina, you must follow Christ with a passionate heart, which I know you do, son. Valentina, as you receive Clayton's love, I ask you to remember to love him with the tenderness of a woman's touch, to speak softly yet honestly, and to reassure him of your undying devotion. Clayton and Valentina, on the basis of your covenant of love and by the authority given to us as ministers of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and in accordance with the laws of the state of Georgia, Juan and I, your fathers, now pronounce you husband and wife, Princess and Prince, <laughs> in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Clayton, you may now kiss your bride.
every change has a reason.